Hello guys and welcome to the next part of our series. Today we're going to be doing a review of two battles that happened in the Wargaming.net League Europe with two full autoloader, high risk, high reward setups. Let's take a look at the tanks that are most commonly used to do aggressive plays. It is Bachar, AMX 50B and AMX Forge B. The thing all these tanks have in common is that they are autoloaders. Those kind of tanks are ideal because they are not only fast but also have great burst potential. They come with the downside of low armor, so if you lose too much HP, it can spiral out of control. If you manage to swarm tanks that are isolated, you can remove them from the game within seconds. The downside of both the 50B and Bachat is that alone they can't remove tanks from the battlefield. That is where the AMX Forge B comes into play. With six shots, it can pretty much win every single one-on-one -on -one it takes. The first battle we will look at is between Oops and Savage Squad. The attacking lineup from Savage Squad is only French autoloaders. This has to be a quick play because in purely trading without pushing, they will lose. Savage will decide the North All In is the way to go. But before we continue, let's look a little bit more in detail. The goal here for Savage is to screen the gap. Oops has to reset, but Savage is pushing forward with four autoloaders to prevent them from resetting or killing them all if they do manage to get the reset. Keep in mind, between the 250Bs and Forge Bs, that's 20 shots available. No, no, we have to fight. We have to fight. Let's 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 Savage Squad, even with extra guns and HP, is almost losing the round because of bad trades. It's now down to a 2 versus 1, and what seemed like a 1 round is quickly turning around. Luckily enough, Danny is there to save the day and pick up the round for his team. Second battle we are going to look at is between Ding and Gohard on Ruinberg. You can see Ding has picked 7 Bachat and did this for a specific reason, so let's go into detail. Gohard only knows about the two bats in the middle, so Ding could rush north at the same time. Instead, they will join up with the other two bats and crossfire anything in the little city on the eastern side. Now the bats are converging on the little city. And the thing for Ding is, they need to hit almost all their shots to actually pull this off. Lucky for them, Gohard makes a mistake and drives into them, causing them to lose gun after gun. Normally in a situation like this, Gohard needs to keep as many guns alive as possible and chase the bats on reload, but they didn't have any HP sharing going on and got focused one by one. With Zafar also out of the fight and Ding hitting the shots, it's game over for Gohard. After this, Ding is just able to reload, come back and clean up the remaining guns. Great shooting by them, but also overextensions from Gohard won them the round. In this video, you've witnessed some great examples of rush tactics and how teams can make it work. Because of the limited armor and hit points, making the correct trades is vital. The second most important part is hitting those shots because after you're clipped, you have an extended reload. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the battlefield.